This video is brought to you by Evoto. Look at this dramatic before and after. In my before, I'm all greasy. I have a bunch of flyaways. My background is awful and I have a huge shadow. But look at my after. My skin is smooth like I had a makeup artist. All of my flyaways are gone. My background is clean, beautiful, and professional looking. This photo only took me a couple of minutes to edit. This one took me less than a couple of minutes. This one took me a couple of minutes. It's making editing easy and fast. I did all of this using Evoto AI and I love it so much I knew that I had to show it to you. So I'm going to go through all of the features that I love, not just things like the editing parts that will make your photos look more professional, but the fact that you can batch edit, you can cut your time down from a, like hours to literally a couple of minutes. You can get five free credits if you go to the link down in the description. You can get 15% off your entire purchase if you use the coupon code TONY15. And I'm really excited to show you this photo that I did of Tony. The before looked pretty good, but definitely not that polished look of a professional photo. And so typically I would have gone in in my old software and touched up every little spot and tried to manually even things out. But with Avoto, I was able to do a few clicks and fix all of that. So I'm going to go back to the original and walk you through the edits that I did. We'll go into blemish removal. And if you move this slider, freckles and acne, that's all it takes. It's all gone. I also did a photo shoot with someone with freckles that I love. You can remove the freckles, but I really love her freckles so they have a slider to keep them in. Back to Tony. He doesn't need a lot. He's got nice skin too, but you can reduce your skin shine right here. Get rid of a little bit of forehead wrinkles. I'm going to warn you, you're going to be tempted to go all the way on the sliders because it's so much fun, but you really want to dial it back and then use my editing rule that I always use. Sleep on it, walk away from your computer and come back and make sure things look good before you send it off to your client. I'll get rid of some eye wrinkles. I have dark circles and this just always makes me look so much nicer and eye bags. Let's get rid of that. Let's do this before and after. You can already see it's just a smoother, more well-rested Tony. Perhaps if we had had a professional makeup artist that day it would have looked like that smile lines just get rid of some of the depth here which is nice this one is so hard to edit in other editing software when people have dry lips but you can do the lip wrinkles and flakes and smooth it out that one really amazes me double chin puts a shadow under there which i typically do for people anyway just a few seconds of editing that already makes it look so much better there's even features where you can do beard protection so if you're smoothing a man's skin and it's clipping the beard, you can click this and it brings the hair back in. And then you can sculpt and dodge and burn. I love this one that evens the skin tone. If people have redness, patches of redness or rosacea or things like that, it's going to even it out. You can go really smooth with texture smoothing. I'm not going to do that to Tony. I like that he's got a little texture. He is a human man. It doesn't just do the face, you can also do the body skin, which happens a lot in portrait shoots. You ha they have their arm showing, oftentimes the skin doesn't match the face, so Avoto AI takes care of all of that, and you can smooth out the body skin, soften the body skin. If you want to add texture back into it, you can do some dewiness, but I like it matte here. You should get your free trial right now and work alongside me. It's so much fun. You're going to want to go through every single slider. This skin tone section is really beautiful. So you can unify the face complexion and that's if someone has like patchy skin or maybe they have a lot of redness in their skin. This is going to help you with that. A problem that both Tony and I have is that we're very brown in the summer and very white in the winter, but we like to be a little brown. So you can add some skin tone and then you can use the slider to make it appropriate. This could get us canceled, but this is definitely okay. A great new feature that they have that's in beta is removing the glasses glare and you slide the slider and now it takes the glare out of their glasses. Editing hair has always taken me a very long time and this makes it easy. So you can fill in the part line if someone has a part and it's wide. You can add a little hair volume to the top grow out your hair a little bit Tony. You can also lower the hairline a little if you want to. My favorite feature is removing stray hairs which has always taken me a long time and that is removing them all from around the edge. Do you see that? It can also remove the stray hairs around the face but if you want to keep them you can lower within figure outlines and bring those back. So I'm leaving these hairs on Tony's forehead here since it's kind of part of his hairstyle. You can blacken the white hair and make it less white or you can make it a color. 
And then there are sliders to play with the amount and the darkening. And now Tony has just a little bit more darkness in his hair, though we love that bright white hair, Tony. So we are gonna bring that right back to bright white. This would look great on his social media profile picture. And that's not even the end of it. I wanna go to the clothes and accessories and de-wrinkle his clothing. So you can see before there were just some wrinkles here that looked a little disheveled on the white shirt and now they're gone. Now I'll go into the background adjustments. And what I love here is that you can remove distractions if there's wrinkles in your backdrop, you can clean the backdrop, or you can completely change the backdrop. And I think that the brown is a little more serious and professional. You could do transparent if you wanted to take it out and put it on a website, it makes it so easy. Whenever I have to separate our pictures for a thumbnail or some other purpose, I drag it into a Voto AI and just use this. It's so good at clipping the edges, it looks very natural. If he were a client and I were doing his headshots, I could go into save preset and name my preset Tony Headshots, save it, and now I can apply that preset to any of the photos. I'm done editing that whole photo set. And this is cut down on my portrait editing by 90%. So I'll show you a recent headshot shoot that I did with Jazz. And I want to clean the backdrop and remove distractions. And you can see that this corner down here, it filled in the gap in the backdrop. So if your backdrop's not perfect, Evoto AI can help fix that. This feature is so cool. It's called armpit touch up. I don't know if you've had clients complain about this. I have, people don't like their armpits. <laughs> so this smooths them, evens the skin tone. And if they're not directly showing their armpit, it just kind of smooths the line of the armpit. So it's less bulgy. One of the really cool things with retouching a woman in this retouching app is that they've considered everything like makeup, brightness of the eyes and features. So if we go in and brighten up the eyes a little bit, they just pop a little bit more. You can do the iris, you can do a little iris flare, you can remove the red veins in the eyes if someone has very red irritated eyes. And then with makeup, what's nice is that you can either go in and individually change things to your liking, or they have these makeup suites where you can add it on top and then you can reduce it. So it doesn't have to be full on makeup. You can make it like 50% and it looks so natural. Look, it filled in her eyebrows, it extended her eyelashes, it gave her a little bit of eyeshadow and a little more color in her lipstick. You can do all different styles, give them freckles. You can reduce the amount if it's too much. You can really play around a lot with the whole look. So it's not just about editing your photo, but you can create a whole different mood. And then once again, you can change the hair color if you want to. I think that feature is really cool because if you're doing a more creative shoot, you can have it match your background. So if she wanted to have pink hair to go with the pink background, she can. And it's more stylized without having to buy wigs or actually dye the person's hair. And then there's also an entire panel of a full body reshape. You can do it a little bit and it's natural. So if you shape the whole thing, you can just bring it down a little bit. The camera, does actually tend to make people look bigger than they are, especially if it's telephoto because you're flattening the person a bit. So it can make them look wider than they are. So it'll be nice if you could just take a couple of those camera pounds off of them and it makes it look natural. And then I like this feature, it's called Smooth Physique. It just kind of lessens any curves to make everything look a little more cleaner and smoother. I love Avoto's ability to bulk edit. So let's say I send my pictures back to my client and she says, I love it, but I want my background to be red and I want my hair to be red. Well, no problem because I can make those changes and then just apply them to every picture. Once you have the edits you want, you can save a preset. Once you have your preset saved, you can select all of the photos that you want to apply it to and then sync your edits. And that's it. You don't have to go back and individually apply everything. You just bulk edit. With their newest update, they have a new feature called Color Match AI. I wanna show you this before and after. This is the painting, the girl with the pearl earring and we replicated it with our daughter, Madeline. I thought I did a pretty good job here on the left color matching the original, but this, I was able to put in the real painting and it matched the colors. You do that by going into color adjustments. You can upload for color matching and then upload your reference photo and then color match the next photo. So there's a slider so you could do it just a little bit or you could match it completely. And if I wanted to match it even more, I could even go into these 
settings and align and tilt her head so it looked even more like the photo. It's pretty incredible. I think this is cool if you wanted to match a style of a photo or if you're inspired by the lighting and the colors in a movie, you could take a screenshot and you could apply it to your pictures. So if you're interested in checking out a photo, go down to our links. We have that free trial for you where you can export five pictures without buying any credits. And if you decide to sign up and buy credits, then you can get 15% off with our coupon code TONY15. And I have that down in the description below. Thanks so much, and I'd love to see your pictures. Tag me in them on social media, and thanks Avoto for making photo editing so much fun.